For this 81-year-old gas jockey, this is an ordinary day. Do you want a filter? Don't I know you? What was supposed to be 15 minutes of fame has lasted 20 years. What's your name? <laughs> Dick Usman. Dick? Yeah. Letterman Show. It's The Late Show with David Letterman. Here's another dumb ad for us right here. Scott Goslin and Dick Assman. In 1995, David Letterman discovered Dick Assman from a local newspaper ad. Now, folks, I know. I know that it's not fair to make fun of somebody's name, but good heavens. Goslin? Assman, usually pronounced Osman, became a regular feature on the show. It's the beginning of an outbreak of uh, Dick Assmania. <laughs> then his big moment. Come on out. Today, he says most of it was a blur. It's really something to go on the show and meet Dave Letterman. The only thing he remembers clearly... Two tall girls. <laughs> <laughs> they were tall. Did you ever get the feeling that he was being mean or making no. fun of you? No, no, no. I said, if he wants to have fun, we'll go ahead. <laughs> Are they one size fits all? There was a dark side, people looking to make a buck off him with merchandise or trotting him out like a circus act. Do you care about these people? Do you think about what it does to them? Well, well I'm, I'm not looking to adopt the man. It was born of silliness. There were warnings that a meteoric rise could only end with a crash landing. But that wasn't the case. Assman still takes it in stride. A lot of people should have got, got to know me. <laughs> they know who I am. So. After 50 years on the job, he's earned his popularity. How come you're still working here? I gotta have something to do. And when everyone else tunes in for Letterman's retirement show, Assman won't be watching. He says it's past his bedtime. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.